In this video I'm going to introduce us to Pascal's triangle and how this is going to relate to what we are going to look at next called the binomial expansion. So Pascal's triangle, if you've never met it before, looks like this. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. And it's built up so that each number is the sum of the two numbers above it. Of course, you've got these ones on the outside, so it's just 1 is the sum of 1 and 0, there's nothing there. But 3 is the sum of 2 and 1, 2 is the sum of 1 and 1. So the next row would be 1, 4, 1 and 3 is 4, 3 and 3 is 6, 3 and 1 is 4, and then finally 1. The next row would be 1, 1 and 4 is 5, 4 and 6 is 10, 6 and 4 is 10, 4 and 1 is 5, and then 1 and 0 is just 1. Okay, And you can keep going with it. And this is Pascal's triangle. Now, this has direct relation to what we're going to do next. And it's really about can you spot patterns. So we're going to start off with looking at A plus B to the zero. Okay. Well, any number to the power of zero is just one. Okay. So A to the plus B to the zero is just one. Then we have a plus b to the 1. Well, that's just going to be a plus b. Okay? But I'm going to write it as 1a plus 1b. Just to highlight where this is going. Then a plus b squared, multiplying out with double brackets, is 1 lot of a squared plus 2 lots of ab plus 1 lot of b squared. And maybe you can see where this is going. a plus b cubed is 1a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus 1b cubed. Okay? So, in actual fact, you might now be seeing that this is Pascal's triangle, the coefficients of Pascal's triangle. 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, okay? So the next one we would expect to incorporate using these coefficients. So a plus b to the 4 is 1a to the 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus one b to the 4. So 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And you should also be picking up the pattern that I'm using with the a's and the b's. The a's are decreasing in power and the b's are increasing in power. Okay, And also at each term the power of the a and the b, the 3 and the 1, 2 and 2, 1 and 3, they add up to 4. So if I was going to do a plus b to the 5, I'd use Pascal's triangle for, the, for that row. So I've got 1a to the 5 plus 5. Bring 1 down the power for the a's and introduce the b's. Then you have 10. 1 less power for the a's. One more power for the b's. Ten. One less power for the a's. One more power for the b's. Five. One less power for the a's. One more power for the b's. And finally, one b to the five. And that's how Pascal's triangle relates to binomial expansion. And the binomial expansion is meaning expanding this bracket with a and b could be any numbers you like, uh, or any bits of algebra that you like, but you can use it this way. And it allows you to expand brackets quickly and without many problems. Um, and really, if I was going to expand, let's say, um, 2 plus 3x 
to the 5, for example, I would use this method rather than um, expanding it out with 5 brackets because the likelihood of me making a mistake is a lot higher doing it that way. In the next video I'm going to show you how we can use this expansion to expand 2 plus 3x to the 5.